We're talking to the universe out there. Oh, the universe. These are I all the it. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fans. Oh, great. I ah, love that. I'm so excited. Me okay, too. this year's class is amazing. Yeah. Are you, obviously you're a Zombies fan, but are you fans of anyone else? Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, I mean, and I, and it, it, Brian May is, um, I think he's inducting Def Leppard, and we were all at Slane Castle, the, the festival in 1986 together. So it's been kind of a mini reunion. That's fantastic. Yeah. I yeah. want to be there when all of these moments happen. I, I just want to be a fly on the wall. I'm sure these guys are, want yeah. to, too. So, okay, how did you become a fan of the zombies? Oh, well, it uh, starts from the very beginning. It's like... Um, <laughs> so when you were an egg? <laughs> you know, no, not quite that little girl in the backseat of my mom's station wagon. They were on the radio, and I was like transformed by their music. Do you remember what song it was? It was, it was, in 1964 they had two hits which were Tell Her No and She's Not There and it was those two songs. They're so good. I mean, yeah, so good. Did you have a mini crush on Colin? Come on. Of course. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> He's still so cute. by that voice. I, I mean, it's like probably the most seductive voice right. in radio and on record. So how did you get approached to be the inductor today? Well, apparently the zombies had put me on their list. Have you been friends with them? How do you know them? Tell me the no, story. I, I just, when they started touring a few years ago more frequently, um, I just got invited. I can't remember. I think their manager invited me. And I met them that night, and now I've been to every show that they've done in L.A. And I've gotten to know what incredible human beings they are. Not just insanely great musicians, brilliant songwriters, but great people. Yeah, they're really nice guys. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they so really nice. are. Tell me what's happening with the Bengals. Is there any news you want to give us? Well, um, the Bengals are part of a Paisley Underground reunion record, which were these bands that we played in the clubs with in L.A. back in the early 80s when we were just starting out. And so we've kind of all covered each other's songs, so we have that. It's called 3 by 4 um, yeah, and I'm working on a solo record, and we have a couple Bengal shows also coming up. It's fantastic. Yeah. Good, so I'll be at all of those, okay. and hopefully all the zombie members will be there too. I hope this so. This will be wonderful. Yeah, we're one big happy family. <laughs> Thank you so much for You're stopping so by. Say bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>